Hello, thank you for joining me in this uh, new series of videos I'm going to be making. I'm going to call it the Blue Mages Library, and uh, in these videos I'm just going to go through all the books I own and read them, and as I read them, just share what I've got out of them. Because um, I love to read, I have a lot of books to read, and most books I read usually leave me something to talk about, so I'm going to talk about it here. This uh, episode zero, I'm just going to share my thoughts on things like literature and literary theory and books and what it all means and what I find important and it's going to kind of shape what I talk about in later episodes when I actually get to read books. Um, so I think we're going to start with literary theory and what exactly literature is to me at least. Because um, it can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And really what what literature is, is it's things that we find important and worth study and worth reading over time. Even years later, even if it's recent, it's something we find important. Now, the big question then is, who finds it important? And that's where I think it's whoever. If one person thinks something's good and they like it and it's literature and worth study and worth further thought, than it is. Because literature can be, first of all, literature can be anything. Not it doesn't have to be a book, or a play, or a poem. It can be anything. A movie, a video game, a comic, anything that is found worthy can be literature. So, then next up comes why. Why anybody? Because a lot of people like to think that there is a solid literature. This is what literature is. Shakespeare, Hemingway, and so on. And it really isn't. We um, have this idea of a literary canon, of the Eng canon of the English language, of these are the most important books and poems and all that. And while it ha it's a great tool, and it helps a lot in, in showing us what a lot of people consider literature, um, what our culture considers literature, which is, again, a very important thing, it is not so solid as a lot of people think it is. It's something that can change easily. We have no idea what the future uh, canon will look like, and that's why I say everything is potential literature. It can be basically, again, anything. Um, so even if, because uh, it's anything anyone finds, because even if you don't like, for example, Shakespeare or Hemingway, it's still considered literature. A lot of people consider it literature. So, vice versa, if you find your favorite book to be literature, but it's looked down upon by academia and high-minded people, and, oh, that's, that's garbage, that's a trashy read, that's not really fair. I mean, sure, not a lot of people think it's literature, so it might not stand the test of time that way, because usually the things that do are the things that a lot of people like. But that shouldn't ruin it for you. And so that's where, why I like this idea that anything can be t literature potentially. It just needs somebody to feel that way and somebody to express that opinion in some way. Because l literature, another aspect of literature is it's something meaningful. We find meaning in it somewhere. And there are a few key places where meaning can be found. The meaning can be found from the piece of literature, the piece of work's creator, the author, the director, so on. Um, the context of the work, the uh, historical period it's set in, and the events that surround it, wars, uh, great political events, um, social movements, and so on. Um, third would be the work itself. Just like the actual language and the words and the work itself, there can be a lot of meaning in. And the fourth, and most important to me, is the audience of the work and their reaction to it and their feelings. Because without them, the other three are essentially meaningless. It's the audience that gives meaning to the work with their how they feel about it and their thoughts on it. If no one read Hamlet, Hamlet would have no meaning. If no one read Hemingway, Hemingway would have no meaning. There's people reading it 
that give it the meaning that it has and what holds us to it. So, again, not that the other aspects aren't important, the author and the context and the, the words itself especially, that's probably the second most important aspect, I think, but, yeah, the, what the audience has to say is most important, and that's why I'm doing these videos. I'm gonna give my thoughts on things that others might not necessarily consider literature, and stuff that a lot of people consider literature, a lot of classics. I own a lot of classics thanks to school, and I didn't want to get rid of them because they're good. They are. There's a reason they're classics, and a lot of people consider them literature. But so, basically, with that viewpoint in mind, what I'm going to do with most of these videos, with these books I read, I'm going to start with the idea of this could potentially be literature. What would make it so? What would make this book worthwhile? What is good about it? Is there a good, like, an important message the book has? Or, again, it could, message could be anything at the end of the day. I don't know until I read, but I'm going to keep an open mind to each book going in, even if it's something to say, oh, that's just a silly little fantasy, trashy, junk fantasy novel. Why would you waste your time reading that? Read something smart. You don't know that. There could still be lessons worth learning in this fantasy book. There could be lessons worth learning in this mystery. We don't... I don't know. I haven't read it. Have you read it? So... That's pretty much where I'm coming from, for at least for me, when it comes to books, and not just books, but movies and video games and other stuff that can be works of art or literature. To me, literature and art are very interconnected. They're both... they're not exactly the same thing, um, but they're pretty darn close. And so, with that in mind, I'm going to focus on books because I have a lot of books I want to read and this seemed like a good idea. But we'll see. Um, again, I'm looking forward to making these videos and I hope you'll share your thoughts. Disagree with me, agree with me, argue, tell me I'm dead wrong, whatever. But that's where I'm coming from, so thank you for joining me and look forward to you with the first book.